Good afternoon, church. I hope you will take a minute to share some thoughts with me. Our granddaughter and I, Hattie, were planting some bedding plants a few days ago in the yard, and she had plenty of questions about everything about it. The question arose, what are the roots and what do they do? Why does everything have roots? And being a four-year-old, I understood that question. So I went into the lengthy explanation, which she probably didn't need, but about half of it. But roots growing in the dirt was the most fascinating fact to her. Sunshine, water, and attention came next. I have thought many times about how important it is to be rooted. Rooted in our community, rooted in our marriages, in our friendships, in our family, but especially in Jesus. I saw a picture of a tree on the beach not too long ago, and it, it had the, the water had washed away a lot of the, the sand. And this tree stood there with just roots down to what was making it grow. And that made me think about roots even more. Colossians 2, 6, and 7 says, As ye have therefore received Jesus Christ, the Lord, so walk in him, be rooted and built up in him, and established in faith as we have been taught, abounding in thanksgiving. We grow, bloom, and produce fruit when we establish a healthy root system. And a healthy root system takes a lot of things. Ours, just like the plants do, but the most important thing is a close walk with Jesus. And that means that we read his word. God gets the glory for blessing us with what we need to grow in his kingdom. All we have to do is take advantage of it. His word is food for us to be rooted, to be have a healthy root system. Everyone have a good day. Bless someone and be a blessing to someone.